And we're going to make sure top left corner, this is set to effects. Go to end cloth, create end cloth. We know that it's going to work. Gravity's working. Let's grab the table. End cloth, create passive. That way it has something to collide into. Looking great. Not quite behaving like paper. What I'm going to do is select the piece of paper, go to presets in my attribute editor. I'm going to scroll down to t-shirt place and what that's done is it's changed all of these dynamic properties that gives you a little description so it is gonna change the way this in cloth behaves so let's kind of make it feel a little bit more like paper so the t-shirt was just like a good starting place so for rigidity let's do 0.05 kind of look at the results that's not too bad like it's not perfect, but we're going to keep that for now. At least it feels a little less floppy. We're also going to change the mass from 0.6. Let's do 0.3. And that'll be more evident whenever we add like uh, the wind. On the left, let's go to our nucleus. This is like the world controls for all of our end cloths. The nucleus selected. I'm in my attribute editor. I'm going to change the wind speed to 5. And then the direction, 0 for this channel. And the furthest one, which would be Z, we're going to do positive 1. Now the wind will be blowing this direction. We can scrub through and kind of see what's happening here. I'm going to lift this paper up just so it has greater chance of getting blown by the wind. Okay, it's definitely getting pushed by the curtains. Let's rotate it this direction. There we go. So the wind just wasn't really catching anything underneath it. We've got lift and drag that we can play with. And now this is what we got. It's not awesome. I'm going to add is select all of these. Go to fields and solvers. Let's do turbulence. Let's crank that to 100 and just see what happens. There we go. So we just have a little bit more variation in the wind. These curtains are wiggling a little bit more. 200. And 200 is probably way too much. We have so many settings that we can play with. We can play with the nucleus, the wind, wind noise, wind direction, wind speed. And then on the end cloth itself, there are so many different things. So we change the rigidity. Let's change the mass to something even lower, like 0.1. That's kind of behaving more like a tissue or something, so I don't love that. Let's try 0.5. We were at 0.6. That's not too bad. You can spend hours playing with this, tweaking and tweaking, so feel free to do that, but hopefully this will get you up and running, at least pointed in the right direction of paper blowing in the wind.